Arsenal now, Pippa Monique from AFTV caught up with Emma and Mark yesterday to discuss their business so far. Right, let's start off um, by rating Arsenal's signing so far. Let's start with Gabrielle. How would you rate that signing? Um, I'm going to have to give it a solid 9 out of 10. If you were to ask me before I've seen him play, I'd probably say 8 because it's, a, it's an area we're looking on improvements anyway. We've got so many centre-backs at the moment, even, you know, uh, renewing Pablo Mari's contract as well. But to bring in someone new, someone young, it's, it's a really exciting prospect. And then now I've seen him play, I'm upping it to a 9 because scoring on your debut as a defender, don't get much better than that. So definitely a 9. OK, on next to a player that moved across London from Chelsea to Arsenal, the Brazilian Willian. I think I was very sceptical about this one when he first joined. I'll give him an eight so far. I mean, what I've seen so far has been good, especially in the first game against Fulham. You know, I, I, I'm going to say three assists, even though it went down as two. Um, and he's used to the Premier League, so he's know, he, we know what to expect from him and he knows what to expect from the club. Um, but I'll give him an eight out of ten. I think there's more exciting things to come from him. Yeah, can't argue with that. Um, and Obama Yang, obviously not a new signing, but it certainly felt like one. It looked like one on social media. Uh, how would yeah. you rate that new deal for him? Am I being a bit uh, delusional if I give this one a 10? <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like the reason I'd give it such a big mark is because it's the one I was anticipating the most. Like, and I almost thought it didn't happen, wasn't going to happen. So the fact that the club kind of put us down and brought us back up, makes me want to give him a 10 because it's one of the, one of the key signings, even though he's a player already, he's one of those uh, players you cannot replace. Even if he was to leave, who on earth would we be replacing him so quickly as well? So 10 out of 10 for me because he's a definite goal scorer, still in his prime. So yeah, 10. One wants to know who the next new face is going to be at the Emirates. You understand what the fans want. You know the passion they have for the football club and, and how they see this as a massive yeah. opportunity this season. Who are the key players that you would like to see join up with Mikel Arteta? And who are those players that you think could transform Arsenal from a, a top six side to maybe even a, a top four, top two team? Oh, top two, that'd be nice. I mean, it's the names that you're probably <laughs> bored of hearing now. I'm going to say it again, Thomas Partey, who's probably not the first choice at the moment, but I think Hussein Awa will be the first choice for Arteta. He's said time and time before how much he respects him as a player and wants to work alongside him. And Arsenal media are known for cryptic messages on social media. I mean, they did it with Aubameyang's contract. And the other day, they said winning in red, white and blue. Now, what, what else is red, white and blue? French flag? Leon? It's telling me something. What do you think is the realistic sort of hopes and ambitions for this side this season? I know Mark said about top four, potentially top two, if you, if you get these players in. But what, what's the feeling amongst the fans of where you could finish this season? Realistically, I w if you would have asked me a few weeks ago, I, I would have predicted that we would finish, I think I said fifth or sixth. But with the activity we've done in transfer window so far and what we could possibly do before it ends, I don't think I'd be crazy to say that we could finish in top four. I mean, this is where we belong. We've been trying to get back there for a long time now. And I think this is the season we'll get back there. Great stuff from Pippa. And this is great stuff for Manchester City fans because we've got some shots now of Ruben Diaz arriving in Manchester. It was a very, very brief shot <laughs> there. Uh, but this one is now looking close. Remember that he's already had his medical in Portugal and now he is in Manchester.